All right, it's a breakout, kids. It is 10.08. I got everybody in my house to sleep. Wife might have the flu. Boy might have the flu. But you got logarithms to learn, right, Cora? You're not going to have too much of a problem on F1. It's domain and range. And here we have a graph. So that's going to be easy. That graph, as you can tell, is running from negative infinity to positive infinity. And they are asking for domain, right? All real numbers. Here we have a logarithmic function. And this logarithmic function, we have this asymptote right here at negative 6. Well, we can't ever be negative 6, but we can be everything to the right. Oh, wait a second. I got to read. There's the word range. So I want the y values. This thing is falling forever and slowly rising. All real numbers again. Awesome! Hold on, I got a message. I sent a buddy something I thought he should buy. It was a bourbon dispenser. I sent him something about that because he needs it because he has a problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to this one. The range of this exponential function. This one will never get lower than negative 7. It's going to rise to infinity. So it's going to be anything bigger than negative 7. Now, it can't actually be negative 7, so you've got to think about some stuff here. That bracket on the first one, that's equality. We don't have equality. We cannot actually be negative 7. So negative 7 rising to infinity and awesome Mr. Mobrath. All right, we got a domain of a logarithmic function. So the word domain popped up. That's going to be my x values. You can see that you're moving from two on right. You have that asymptote that's a vertical asymptote. No function can ever cross a vertical asymptote, so we don't have equality. And I'm going to bump this on up level. I was just level five. We need some actual functions. So here we have a function, all right? Uh, here's the rule on logarithms. It's a pretty simple rule. For the log of a smiley face or a frowny face, it is logarithms, and kids hate logarithms. The one thing I know about this smiley face is that this smiley face has to be greater than zero. That's the way it works, all right? Uh, why is it this way? You know, usually in Algebra 2, I tell kids to just pull up their TI-84 and try doing the logarithm of zero. And it's going to say error domain. It's not going to work. You can do the logarithm of anything just bigger than zero, like 0 .0000001. one Good luck with that one being closed captioned, right? Subtitles on that? Not going to happen. Or if you like your LN keys, doesn't matter. You also can't take the logarithm of a negative. It's going to tell you non-real. It's just not going to happen. Uh, why is that? You know, I've never actually tried to figure out why that was. But say you have log base zero. Actually, I do have tried to figure out this. What is this asking? Well, if we set this equal to something, this is saying what power of x makes 10 a 0? And this is impossible to ask. It is impossible. To raise a number and get zero as a result. I know that type so well, but it's just not something that you can actually do. If you ever figure out how to do that, uh, please share because I want to either experience that level of enlightenment that you have or that level of stupidity. Let's go with that. Share. Sharing is caring. So here's what I know about this dude. I know that x plus 3 has to be more than 0, which means that x has to be more than negative 3. And they're using set motor notation on this one. So choice 3. Awesome! What is the range of this exponential function? 
Okay, this is about range. So what you do is you think about the graph. That's all you do, you think about the graph, uh, which is actually another lesson too. I mean, you could pull up your TI-84 and do this if you wanted to. Remember that you could literally go to Y equals and you could pull it up. But I want to establish the relationship on hand, on paper. This thing, I have Facebook Marketplace open. I've been looking at skid steers. I really want a skid steer. I want a skid steer, an excavator, and a bulldozer. Those are three things I want. I want a force remote or two on the skid steer or the excavator. But anyways, I got to fall two. There's my horizontal asymptote. I have that X minus eight that I'm looking at. What that means is I'm going to go right eight units. So right there. That's going to be a vertical asymptote. Or sorry, not necessarily a vertical asymptote. This is exponential. So there's no such thing. And uh, we got a four out front. It's going to be growth. The function is going to look something like this. All right. So the key thing here is to focus on this. That is your horizontal asymptote. Because we're talking about range, I get to be ridiculously close to negative two, but I keep getting to rise on up. There she is, super domain of this one. There's uh, the only horizontal asymptote on this one is the one that's on all exponential functions. All exponential functions. have a horizontal asymptote of y equals zero unless we shift up like we did on the last example unless we shift up or down and i don't see that i see maybe you know the idea of adding a zero to that thing so if i was to just kind of think about this graph and I, this is not perfect but this is my horizontal asymptote I got a 10 out front, it's growth, it's got a 7 out front too, that's a starting point, but it's going to look something like that. Anyways, it's domain too. I went off on a tangent on that one. It's going to run forever left, forever right. It was a logarithm, we have a little issue. Here's another log. Again, the deal on the logs is you take the log of a smiley face, and the smiley face is bigger than zero. So on this one, x plus 2 is bigger than zero. That tells me my x value has to be greater than negative 2. So negative 2 to infinity plus of interval notation. Oh, what was it, range? I bet it was right. It was something else, wasn't it? Missed it. They wanted range, didn't they? What is the range? Uh, right there. Oh, missed one. Range of the exponential. This one has that horizontal asymptote of negative 7. So y is going to get be greater than negative 7. Uh, it is growth. It's something I'm looking at, by the way. You see that 8? That's growth. That's kind of a big deal. And when in doubt, look at the graph. But this one's growth, so it's going to on up. It is range. we got to be bigger than negative 7. Okay, domain. Thankfully, there's domain there. Glad there's domain. I won't miss this one. X plus 4 has to be bigger than 0. So X has to be bigger than negative 4. And I believe I missed one. Here's the domain of an exponential. Uh, it is growth. It's going to do something like that. It's all real numbers. My goal for y'all is to get to a 90. Here's the range of a logarithm. If this logarithm were graphed, you would have a shift right, sorry, not right, a shift left of five units. One, two, three, four, five. And that is the line it would never be able to pass. It would uh, do this. So it's actually going to be from negative infinity to infinity. Or some kids will just be like, oh, it's still in the range of a logarithm, and that's what they'll remember. What are the domain and range of log? Okay. So x plus 7 is bigger than 0, which means that x is bigger than negative 7. 
that has equality in it. It's between those two. And I was just saying, you know, some kids catch on that the range of a logarithm is always negative infinity to infinity. That's what they go with. 84, six more points here. Domain and range of this exponential function. Uh, it is going to have a shift on it to the left. But that's not actually going to affect anything. You're going to go left one, two, three here. And I completely messed that graph up. You're going to go shift left one, two, three. And that's going to be kind of like your y axis. But the range is to be bigger than zero. Gone, gone, gone. And the domain here is run left and right forever. Maybe one more, maybe two more, and I can stop this one. Three natural logs of x. So the natural log is a log base e. And that doesn't really matter right now. But we have a log base e of x. Well, the x has to be bigger than zero. Simple. Takes care of that, takes care of that. If you pulled up your TI-84, you'd have a really good graph. And as tired as I am, that might be a good idea for me. So I went to Y equals on my TI-84, 3 ln X minus 8. If you don't have a TI-84 at home, you can use Desmos. Desmos can do this. Zoom 6. And there's your graph. Okay, you can see that the x values never got to the left of zero. And what's the range doing? It's falling forever and it's rising forever. Correct. All right, the goal was 90 on here. Man, 17 minutes. You guys aren't going to want to watch 17 minute video. Domain and range of this bad boy 8e to the x plus 6. So it's exponential. I'm looking for domains that go from negative infinity to positive infinity. And it looks like just a basic exponential function. There's no shift down. Zero to six, or zero to infinity. Challenge zone. So I'm done with this video because it's already 1020 at night. I hope this helped you figure this one out if you couldn't figure it out.